Today, we are going to be talking about how former Alabama Crimson Tide running back and now Commander's rookie running back, Brian Robinson Jr., proved everyone wrong. Robinson attended Hillcrest High School in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. After having only one touchdown in his junior season, Robinson made a huge jump in the Hillcrest offense, scoring 14 touchdowns on 781 rushing yards while averaging 6.3 yards per carry. After holding offers from a number of Division I schools, Robinson decided to take two visits to Alabama, one being an official and one being an unofficial, leading to his commitment to the Crimson Tide. Despite Alabama being a top school, Robinson knew he was going to have to compete with other prime running backs in his class committing to Alabama, such as Najee Harris and Cam Akers. Once Robinson got to campus at Alabama, he immediately put his head down to work, knowing that he would have to prove himself if he was going to make a name for himself in the sport of football. After three seasons at Alabama, where Robinson had been playing behind NFL-caliber running backs such as Damian Harris and Najee Harris, Robinson finally picked up momentum in the 2020-21 season. Robinson combined for 878 yards in his first three seasons, along with nine touchdowns on 183 attempts. Now in the 2020-21 season, Brian Robinson was the running back two for the Crimson Tide, just behind Steelers running back Najee Harris, where he played solid football with 483 yards and six touchdowns. After Najee left and was drafted by the Steelers, it was Robinson's turn to lead the Alabama Crimson Tide, and he did just that. In the 2021-22 season, Robinson rushed for 1,343 yards and 14 touchdowns on an insane 271 attempts. Those yards put him at 15th in the country behind running backs such as Brees Hall and Kenneth Walker III. After coming off a fantastic year with the Alabama Crimson Tide, Robinson declared for the NFL Draft. After falling to the third round, the Washington Commanders decided to take Robinson with the 98th pick in the draft. Robinson made an impact immediately in the NFL preseason with the Washington Commanders. In his first preseason game, Robinson rushed for 26 yards and a touchdown on six attempts, along with two receptions for 15 yards. After Antonio Gibson struggled with ball security, Commanders started to lean on Robinson a little more. After the Commanders decided to sit out Robinson for their final preseason game, it was then on to the regular season. Big story that developed over the weekend. Washington Commanders running back Brian Robinson was shot multiple times on Sunday in an attempted robbery. D.C. Metro Police say at least two bullets hit Robinson in the lower body during that attempted carjacking. The injuries are non-life threatening and Robinson is stable. Police are still searching for the suspects, though. On August 28th, around 6 p.m., Robinson was caught in between an attempted carjacking and armed robbery. At one point, Robinson was shot twice in the lower body. After being wounded, Robinson was able to wrestle one of the weapons away from one of the men, which led to the men leaving without taking anything. Soon after, Robinson was taken to the hospital, and it was reported his injuries were non-life-threatening. That same night of the shooting, the Washington Commanders franchise released a statement on their social medias stating that they were aware of the situation and to respect Brian Robinson's privacy at the time being. Commanders fans and just football fans in general were very supported when it came to sending prayers for a quick recovery, with many fellow NFL players tweeting and releasing statements about the incident. Just two days later, on August 30th, the Commanders posted pictures of Robinson returning to the facilities, and everyone was happy to see him. After a crucial recovery process, Robinson made the incredible return to practice. On Wednesday, October 5th, just 38 days after being shot in his leg, the rookie running back returned to practice. Commander's head coach Ron Rivera reported Robinson had no problems running routes, but made it clear he was going to ease Robinson into his NFL regular season debut. After taking it easy with the running back coaches and head coach Ron Rivera, Robinson was activated to play on Saturday, October 8th in the Commander's matchup versus the Titans. Ron Rivera stated Saturday that Brian was a little sore in practice Wednesday, but finished the week off very strong in Thursday and Friday's preparation for the game. After a big buildup and the Commander's fans going crazy, Robinson did in fact play versus the Tennessee Titans in the Commander's loss. Not only did Robinson play, but he led the running back core of him, Antonio Gibson, and J.D. McKissick in carries. In the end, Robinson finished with 22 yards on 9 carries, averaging 2.4 yards per carry. After the game, although Commander's fans were disappointed about the loss, no one in the stadium was not happy for Brian Robinson Jr., and he made sure to get a jersey swap with former Alabama Crimson Tide teammate Derrick Henry. After his regular season debut, Robinson was named the starting running back 
going into the Bears game on Thursday Night Football. Robinson and both teams started off the game slow, but the Commanders heavily picked it up in the fourth quarter. After being down 6-7, to seven, Robinson and Wentz led a drive, which ended in a Brian Robinson one-yard touchdown run. Also, just happened to be the game winner. The Commanders ended up picking up their second one of the season, and Robinson was a huge part of that. He finished with a touchdown as well as 60 yards on 17 carries, averaging 3.5 yards per carry. Not only do I think that Robinson's story is one of the craziest we have seen in recent history, but I genuinely think Brian Robinson will have a great NFL career as a great back in the NFL. It's tough to say Robinson did not prove a lot of people wrong. 